Hello everybody, today we're working on a Coleman CT200UEX and we are upgrading from this High Sun engine to the Predator 224 and what we have here is we pulled off the flywheel off of the High Sun because we'd really like to have the ability to run the factory headlight and so what we're going to try to do is we're going to remove everything that's associated with the flywheel and the headlight and we're going to see if we can adapt this flywheel to the Predator 224 and put that on the mini bike so that we can keep the factory headlight with the better engine. We have now removed the uh, flywheel from the Predator 224 and I'm not going to show that process because there's plenty of other videos out there showing how to swap flywheels on these but I want to talk about the dimensional uh, similarities between the flywheels and the reason why you're going to be able to use your original high sun flywheel on the Predator 224 to be able to wire in your headlight on your Coleman mini bike and use the factory headlight. So we can see here, um, and we're gonna go look at the flywheels in just a moment, but obviously the Predator is missing in these mounting locations, these here, which this operates the electrical for the headlight. This operates the electrical for the coil. So the Predator 224 has the coil ones in place, but it doesn't have the ones in here for the headlight. So we're gonna take this, these two pieces off here with the wiring and we're gonna mount it into the Predator 224 and we're gonna end up sending it out this hole here. But let's go take a look at the flywheels. So here we go. This is the High Sun flywheel that we took off the High Sun 196. This is the Predator 224 flywheel. And um, I just took some caliper measurements with these, nothing super accurate, um, but you know enough to know that they're gonna work. And what I found was is the, the small end of the taper was 668 on each one. The large end of the taper measured 855 thousandths on both. The ID across the coil magnet, uh, which would be from here, this diameter here, the inside diameter, measured 5.050 on both. This is all plus or minus one thousandths of an inch with, you know, with the caliper. And it's a good set of steric calipers here. But um, the OD, uh, 90 degrees from the coil magnet, I measured it. That would be coil magnet here. So 90 degrees from the coil magnet was the same. The thickness of both is the same. The weight of the high sun is a little bit more. It was five pounds, 8.3 ounces. The Predator was five pounds, 0 0.8 ounces. And the difference there is in the uh, magnets on the, the ID of the flywheel to run the headlight, because obviously the Predator 224 doesn't have that. Now, the only difference I did see, the only physical difference I saw on these is if you put them next to each other, the High Sun has this, this little recess here machined away on uh, their flywheel. So not a big deal. That's not gonna affect the operation at all. They may have done that to try to lighten it a little bit because of the addition of the magnets. Now you could, um, in, my, like in a shop like mine, you could take these magnets out. You can see where they're mounted in there. And you could machine you know, a, a through hole here where you could add the magnets to the 224 flywheel but then I would want to go back and make sure that this thing would be balanced again. I would want to, at minimum, statically balance it or dynamically balance it. I don't have the ability to dynamically balance a flywheel here in, at Hills Machine Works. And it's just a mini bike. And since they're exactly the same except for the recessed uh, part there, I would say we're going to run this one on the Predator 224. We're going to install it right now. And um, we're not gonna show the whole thing of installing it, but we will show you how we're gonna run the wiring out the side of the uh, tin work on the 224. So let's go back over to that now and take a look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these from the high sun engine.
Okay, and this is essentially just a little shield that goes over, as we saw there, that holds the wiring from getting tangled up in with the, uh, the flywheel. Now, we need to get the wires out of the plug so that we can feed them in through here and then run them through the tin work on the 224. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker and I'm just gonna mark here that we know yellow went on this side of the plug and brown on this side of the plug, just for, just for future reference. There, now we can't mistake which way the wiring went. Now there are special tools you can use to remove these, but what I do is I just take a pick like this and I run the pick down in behind the uh, connector and it just detents that a little bit so that you can pull the wire out the back. So that's what I'm doing here. And with the plug removed, we're gonna pull the wires out through here. There's a little rubber grommet there that we're gonna have to save. And if you look here, the tin work is almost identical from the 212, I mean from the 194 to the 212. You have the hole here for the clip that holds some of the connections on the mini bike. This one, excuse me, this one just doesn't have this port here. And there is a potential problem because the oil sensor is behind there on the 224, but I think that this will uh, just straight out swap from the High Sun to the Predator 224. So instead of trying to run the wiring through here um, and then losing the plastic clip, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna switch the tin work right over. So let's remove the tin work here by taking that uh, small bolt out. And the other bolt is held on by the, uh, the fan shroud that uh, mounts the recoil. So just take this one out. We should be able to take this piece right off. And now we'll do the exact same thing here. We're gonna remove that tin work and we'll swap it out. Now, on the top of the Predator uh, shroud here, part of the tin work for the shroud, uh, you have the connections for the oil sensor cutoff and for the on-off switch that's mounted on the fan shroud. Now we're gonna bypass all that when we put it on the the uh, Coleman mini bike. So the thing is, is that this, these are actually two separate pieces that they've kind of fixed in here. So you're able to pry at them a little bit like this and see how they're starting to separate. So you can just carefully wiggle this off without destroying this part of the tin work or this piece. And then when we take the tin work off that we had on the high sun, we'll just put it up in there and uh, the mounting bolt will hold those and pinch them together just fine. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then the next thing you're gonna see is the high sun uh, tin work in place on here. Then we're gonna run the magnets through and install the flywheel and we will be set to go with the Predator 224 that has a headlight. All right, everything's installed here. Flywheel's ready to go on. The high sun tin work is in place. We did have plenty of clearance back there for the uh, the headlight electronic, uh, the headlight wire to come through and it didn't interfere with the oil sensor. So now I'm gonna put the flywheel on and then we gotta put the fan on and the, um, the piece here for the recoil. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to find a torque value for this in a book uh, or Google it online and see what we can get. I, I don't wanna just use an impact on it because you can end up damaging the tapered fit. So let's. Let's get everything ready and we're gonna put it together. The closest thing I could find for a torque spec on the flywheel nut on a Honda engine is 51 to 58 foot-pounds, 54 foot-pounds on the GV150. So this book, unfortunately, only goes up to the five horsepower engines. Um, but this, the High Sun and the Predator are clones of really the Honda engine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with the 58 um, foot-pounds torque value 
And I'm going to put that on to see how that fits. I used an impact to remove it. Uh, and we'll, but this time we're going to torque it down. And I'm going to use a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads of the flywheel nut. All right, we're running the Predator 224 with a headlight, factory headlight setup. Of course, we're going to cut this off. We're going to do some other things to it. But this is just a test run to show you that the headlight works. 